This is Retro Gamer Alert with an update to the video Beware of Laird's Lies, the truth about Kieran Hawken. I would like to talk about several topics in this short podcast style update to inform everyone about why we made the video, the response that the community has had to this video, as well as many of the revelations about Mr. Hawkins' behavior that have come forth since then, and where the community will go from here. First, let's talk about the video. Myself, along with a small group of people, all of whom have been subjected to Kieran's lies and harassment for many years, decided to create a short video that would show people specific examples of Mr. Hawkins' behavior along with concrete proof that contradicted his lies. The video wasn't meant to show every last transgression committed by him, but to just give a few examples that highlighted the behavior he has shown to others. I feel we succeeded in that goal. Regarding the video itself, since it was put up a few days ago, it has received more than 3,600 views as well as more than 200 likes, showing that the video has succeeded in its original goal. Although the video has also received a few dislikes, I think we can probably guess where those came from. Many events have happened both before and after the publishing of the video that should be mentioned here, as they have all contributed to exposing the lies and abuse of Mr. Hawkins over the years. What first got everything started was the book review of one of Kieran's books by the Atari Age user RetroLiar, which helped in raising awareness enough to get people to start paying attention to the behavior of Mr. Hawkins. After the thread was created about this book review on the Atari Age forums, people started to come out, little by little, with their own personal stories of Mr. Hawkins' behavior. What really helped this issue to explode, though, was the video, The What's It Is Busted, published by YouTuber Funky Spectrum, which brought a lot of attention to the issue. Shortly after that, several prominent retro gaming community members, most notably Chris Wilkins and YouTuber Octavius King, both related their own stories about his behavior through Facebook posts, which both contributed to bringing this issue out from the shadows. Literally hundreds of posts, most of which were individuals all relating their own experiences with Mr. Hawkins, were made in response to these posts. Sadly, YouTuber Octavius King also decided to withdraw from public appearances due to her own experiences with abuse from Mr. Hawkins, which has saddened many members of the retro gaming community. Going back to the original video that started everything, Mr. Hawkins had it taken down from YouTube several times through copyright strikes, and, to do, and due to this topic being discussed on the Atari Age forums, managed to get Facebook to completely block links to the Atari Age website. After an outpouring of support and messages to Facebook from Atari Age users, though, the block was lifted after only a couple of days. Since all of this happened, the Laird's Lair YouTube channel was taken down, and Mr. Hawken had been in hiding in virtual silence having pretty much been ostracized from everywhere except from his Jaguar Sector 3 Facebook group. Despite the large amount of attention that his actions have now received, he had yet to issue any kind of apology, instead of doubling, instead just du doubling down and trying to strike out at his enemies through means of abusing the reporting process of both Facebook and YouTube. Up until today, that is, but we'll come back to that. So, where does the community go from here? It is quite likely that more revelations about Mr. Hawkins' behavior will come to light. In the meantime, though, the response of the community as a whole has actually been heartening. Many of the members, united under a single cause, have been able to put away past grudges and work mo more closely together. It looks like the saga may have a happy ending after all. Shortly before I published this update, though, some breaking news occurred as Mr. Hawkins decided to break his silence by releasing a 15-page manifesto on Twitter. This long of a, of a response will surely take some time to read and digest, so you can be assured that an update will be forthcoming. Uh, before I conclude this update, though, 
I would like to give special thanks to many of the individuals who contributed to bringing this issue to the public eye. First of all, special thanks is due to the Atari Age forum user RetroLiar, who got this whole thing going with his book review video. Second, I would like to thank Andrew Rosa of the Mastercast TV YouTube channel for narrating the original video. Special thanks are also due to Chris Wilkins, Octavius King, and Funky Spectrum, all of whom contributed greatly to bringing this issue out in the open. Lastly, I would like to thank everyone else who shared their own personal dealings with Mr. Hawkins, knowing full well that they were opening themselves up to retaliation from him. As I said before, there is more news we will need to cover later. But until then, thank you for watching Retro Gamer Alert, and have a great evening.